Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mount and Blade Warband Prophecy of Pandor 3.93. Um, they have a lady in waiting and we need that lady. It hurts, but we have to get her. Oh, crap. The problem is not the uh, serpent priestess as she is. But the fact that she uh, that her horse is faster than ours. Good problem solved. Oh boy, do I hate this! Oh, and they have crossbowmen, but that's also not the problem. The problem is the horsemen. Simply put, it's the horsemen. Please remember that the Anaconda Knights or the, the Snake Cult is like the Heretics. They're pretty much the same. They have a little bit more crossbowmen, but that's about it. Um, their main troop, or the highest level troop, the Anaconda Prince Priestess, is not as um, melee oriented as the Heretic Magnus is, the leader of the Heretics. He's going just for a mace and mush you and uh, give you to the Dark Gods. No, they are equipped with ranged weapons from time to time. Might be throwing, might it be bows, might it be crossbows. They have that kind of stuff. P please keep that in mind. Furthermore, please keep in mind that the um, Anaconda... I think it's the Anaconda Knight is not a mortal. He's a when you hit him, you will hear this scream and you will be, uh, okay, this guy is not, not human. Um, that's very important because that means he can take a lot more damage than normal guys can. Furthermore, oh yeah, we're not done. Um, furthermore, keep in mind that the army build is about the same like the heretics is. So ground troops like this one here, some ranged weapons, some not, not top notch. Um, then they're immediately a horseman, and their horsemen are not ranged fighters. They have no crossbow or bowman horsemen. They have some with throwing spears, but nothing like a jetu or the like with um, bows or crossbows. They're very melee oriented. They're a little bit less melee oriented than the heretics are because of their crossbow troops and their anaconda priestesses, but they're in all other regards, they're the same. They ride the same horses. They can ride the super horse, meaning the demonic charger. Um, they can, they're having heavy armor. They're having excellent close weapons and skills. Well, skills are not that much. When you have them themselves, you notice that while they look impressive with all their um, armor and stuff and swords and have you not seen, but the stats are actually not that good. I think they have a stat of 260 or something along that line. Please be aware that the guys behind us are not the knights. The knight is the guy that is running far away because he still has some kind of ranged weapon, some throwing spears and stuff. And he can use them. Uh, this guys behind us are, I think they're called followers or something. Doesn't sound that threatening actually is. The heretics is the same with the uh, snake hold. They can threaten your patrols. They cannot really threaten your armies because, uh, armies because they have no lances. These guys are knights without lances, which makes them a hell less dangerous than, for example, Chitu are. Because um, while normal uh, armies with lances are always posing a threat to your army because they can simply lance your troops to death, these guys cannot. Remember that even... A high-level knight can be killed by someone who's sitting on a horse with a lance and has no clue what he's doing, simply if he's got lucky enough to get out the first shot in the head. Uh, not the first shot, the first thrust in the head with his lance at lancing speed. Because the damage accu uh, accumulates increasingly um, speedy when you have a horse, a lance and some speed. Why are we doing all this? Because they have a lady in waiting, and a lady in waiting is three things. Reputation with a faction, 
reputation with the Lord and honor. And well, you get three for one, it's like Kinder Überraschung. You have to have that. Absolutely. No questions asked. I think that the Super Knight will run out of Super Knightish stuff pretty soon and he will try to close in. We should be faster than his horse is. And you can see that our uh, crossbowmans are, except one, are all out of stuff. But one bolt is enough to take you down, so don't get overly um, unconscious. When you hear this sound, you know that uh, he's throwing his throwing spears. can see him at this point, but I'm pretty sure he is... Yeah, he's still throwing. Oh, and he's got a super shield. Great. And these guys are extra stupid because they've got no shield. Oh, and I've got no clue of shooting today. Yeah, you have to aim for the head with this, guys, because... Um, They're that, uh, that tough. Warriors, they're called warriors. In first glance, that doesn't sound like crossbowmen, uh, like uh, horsemen, but they are. Be sure not to get into striking range with these guys. They're using um, two hand, I think it's two handed swords. And they're pretty good at using that stuff. So let's get the shield out. The knight will be the main problem. If I can see him, we're in trouble. And he's good with that stuff, by the way. He is good with that stuff. I'm not that fearful of the spears, although I should be. I'm fearful of the fact that he runs out of ammunition. I don't see it in time. And he, um, for some reason, charges in on me and I didn't see him coming. And then I'm done. I think this guy is riding a super horse. That means we'll have to destroy the shield. Because there is no way that we can destroy the horse. We can try our luck, but I'm pretty sure that is an indestructible horse. Well, it's not indestructible, but you, you get my point. Yeah. Pretty much indestructible for us. Doesn't look that tough to me. It looks like a normal horse somehow. Yeah, but it is not. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it. We have to destroy the shield and then we have to destroy the guy as we always do. Keep in mind, we're here for the lady and nothing else. We want the lady. Good thing I found so many bolts. And now I shoot the horse for no damage. Okay, he's definitely riding a super horse. This guy makes me fearful somehow. Missed by a mile. I think I must aim more to the um, left because he is riding. And I'm perfectly at missing. Come on, what's wrong here? Whoa, I damaged the horse, although I didn't want to. Good shot. Whenever it does cling, it's good because cling means we hit the we hit the shield. We've got enough arrows, so don't be fearful. We got this. Crap. I, I always do not account his movement to mine. So that's the reason I'm shooting too far to the right. Where I should be aiming a left. You could actually try to uh, get 
better angles. The only problem are the small guys. Maybe we should thin them out a bit. Just for security reasons, you know. With all these guys behind uh, him and us, or between him and us, he should have even more problems aiming at us. Haha, <laughs> I damaged the horse. But I'm so bad at hitting at the moment. But I have a fair amount of respect for this guy. Maybe I should really kill the horse first. Remember, this guy is not human. Aiming too low. Oh, great. He's uh, using a metal shield, is he not? Yeah, I could try to get distance, but uh, then I will not exactly know where these guys are, and that is a little bit too dangerous for me. I could start shooting the normal troops, though. We are more maneuverable than he is. Oh, crap. That was too close for my liking. Come on, shield. Die already. With this spotage, is by the way, they're doing a lot of damage. Ah, oh, come on. That was a total miss. Maybe I should get the bow out and kill some of the normal troops. This is frustrating. Wait, he's not using some kind of magical shield, is he? There are shields with an extremely high resistance. Like, boy! When you combine that with his shield skill, which should be amazing, it might explain where we're not doing any damage. Well, we're doing damage, but... Not a hell of a lot. Haha. <laughs> okay. Did you hear that sound? <laughs> yeah, this guy is not is not <laughs> not human. And look at the damage. He's taken twenty. Twenty damage so far. <laughs> I think it will stay twenty damage. I'm not hitting that guy. 9, 29 damage. Thirty-seven. Uh, 38. Oh, come on. That was a guaranteed hit. Oh, boy. That guy is a monster. I think this is also one of the troops that you cannot take prisoner. Because you can only take mortal troops prisoner. There. 300 and th uh, 633 experience for one guy. Okay, this is not the right weapon to kill idiots. Oh, but we can look for the horse if it's a supercharger or not. Um, get the bow out, get the mace out, arrows. Large pack of arrows, beautiful. Well, I'm bad at shooting today, am I?
The Irishmen, although armed with crossbows, are only worth 60 XP. That's quite horrifyingly bad. And we've got a level up! Hooray! Maybe we can take her prisoner. That would help us. Okay, let's look for that horse, what that is. But I'm pretty sure it's a super horse. Yeah, it's a super horse, of course. It's always a super horse. Come on. You're a tough lady. You can take more than that. You cannot take more than that, though. You're kidding me. You are the toughest lady I've seen. Well, the horse got her. 735. Well, they give more experience than the heretics do, but basically they're the same. I find them more dangerous than the others, though, because of the range capabilities. <gasps> Look at that! Snake cold orders! Yay! That means we can trade this thing here for reputation with the order. Stubborn. Look at the armor of that thing. Sadly, we cannot uh, use any of their weaponry. But we're here for the lady in waiting. Thank you. Um, party, talk to me. Talk. Um, yeah, the Bacchus Empire will be grateful. A, a lady for better, 0 to 5, Bacchus Empire 0 to 5, and we gained honor. And we gained a level up, how beautiful is that? Of course we increase our intelligence, because that's what we need. And we'll increase wound treatment to heal faster, and we increase spotting to see more. Because that's very important. Please keep one thing in mind. We are in enemy territory here. This is snake territory, and they can appear out of nowhere. If you're traveling through the woods, it is more likely um, that they will simply pop out of nothing and hit you in the head really, really hard. And when you run into an army of those guys unprepared, you're dead. Do you know anything? No, of course not. I've got some empire light infantry. That's not even worth something. Um, that's how life is. Single spearman, Brother Randolph. Yeah, we have no elixir of Aachen. Hides, 700. Silk, 500. Wool, 600. I mean, honestly, this only costs 6,000 and it gives nearly the same as the other. So, screw this, we're buying a weavery here. Goods, okay. Let's sell the crap. These are, well, they're bad boots because Look at the armor. It's giving uh, not a lot of armor for a very high strength requirement. Plus eight. Does not help us. And I really like that horse. I mean, the armor is impressive by all means. I always keep the fish as um, a stopping point. And the golden mare has been healed. Beautiful. So we switch for that because it's faster. We keep the helmet because it's a beautiful helmet. And where are we in coin? 6,374. Six ah. Oh, Radiant Cross. So there is the Order of the Radiant Cross in this town. And they've got prisoners, Duke Elfane. That does not help us any. However, However, oh, however, we're going to stop it here and uh, see each other next time. Until then, bye.